joined by Labour MP Martin Linton, the MP for Battersea, and somebody who has been campaigning to get Shakir Armour released for some time now. You're taking your message to Washington very soon. What will you be doing there? Well, we're going to be knocking on doors of uh, senators, congress, congressmen, uh, anybody who can help us to, uh, to persuade uh, President Obama to uh, go that last step and re return Shakerama to the UK where his wife and family live. They were ready to release him to, uh, to Saudi Arabia some time ago. Of course, he doesn't want to return to Saudi Arabia. Uh, he's a British resident. More importantly, his wife and family uh, live in, uh, in Britain. They've always lived in Britain. Uh, this is where he wants to return to. What we've been waiting for is the agreement of the United States to allow him to return to Britain. We're just opposite Downing Street now. Um, why haven't you been able to get Gordon Brown just to pick up the phone and speak to Barack Obama to get uh, Shaka out sooner rather than later? Well, I'm not sure that Gordon Brown hasn't uh, discussed this with uh, President Obama. Certainly David Miliband, the Foreign Secretary, first raised it with the United States government um, in uh, August of 2007, two and a half years ago. And he, he has always maintained a position of pressing for the release of Shekharama and all the British residents uh, detained in Guantanamo. The problem is on the American side of the Atlantic. They have been reluctant to release him to the UK. However, I think the case is clear that uh, unless they're going to charge him, and it's perfectly clear they're not going to charge him, I don't think they've ever intended to charge him, they must release him to where his wife and family are, which is in the UK. Martin Linton, good luck with your mission and please do keep us informed as how you get on in Washington. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. A uh, shocking case and uh, I see the hand of British intelligence at play yet again. Uh, what about the children? Uh, were they at the event? No, they, uh, they didn't go, but they're very keen to be on the Ritansi and Ridley show and asked if they could use our show to give us, uh, uh, to give them a platform and give a message to US President Barack Obama. Well, we'll certainly oblige, but before we do, don't forget, if you want to know more about Shakir Armour's case or any of today's guests, please go to our website, www.retansianridley.com, and we're on Twitter and Facebook. And now we have a special message for the US President from a remarkable group of children who want their father back. So if you can tell me who you are and introduce the members of your family. My name is Jahina Amr and I am 12 years old. These are my brothers, Michelle who is 10, Saif who is 9 and Fadis who is going to be 8 tomorrow. And you've got a message to deliver, what is that? We have some messages for the President of the United States about my father, Shakir Amr. And where is he at the moment? He's in Guantanamo Bay. And how long has he been there? He's been there for eight years. Do you miss your father? Yes, a lot. Dear Barack Obama, I hope you are in good health. I am writing to ask you for my father's release. As you might know, my father has been away for eight years. He was taken away since I was four years old. It has been most of my life. My brother Forrest has never seen his father and misses him a lot. Sometimes he thinks other people are his father. Once a man came to do our garden. Forrest ha had a lot of fun and loved with him. When he left, Forrest asked my mum, Is that my dad? He has never felt what it's like to be with a father or to go out with him. Forrest has had no experience at all of what it's like to have a father, just like every child does. My mother is very patient, but sometimes when she misses him too much, she gets depressed. My mother is also a psychiatric patient. Whenever she gets depressed, we have to go to my grandparents' house, where my grandparents look after her. When she is ill, she is in bed day and night and can't do much. I really hate it when she gets depressed. At school, when it is time to go home, most of the children have their fathers pick them up, which makes me miss him even more. I never really got to do things with my father. Also, there is no reason for my father to be in prison. There have never been any charges made against him, and he is innocent. 
My father has suffered for eight years in prison for no reason. I hope there can be a change now. He has got so many illnesses such as asthma and many physical problems. He is the only British resident there. I take that you understand this as a father and a husband. Nobody would like to be separated from their fathers or mothers. It is nowhere near fun to be without a father. We have missed him so much. I hope this letter can make a difference and that my father is released immediately. Thank you. From Jahaina Amir, daughter of Shaka Amir. When was the last time you received a letter from him? Two years. Two years ago. That's a very long time, isn't it? And do you think that the President of America might be able to help you? Yes. Dear Mr. President, I am Forrest Amir and my dad is Shaka Amir. Tomorrow is my eighth birthday. I want my dad back. I want to see how it feels to hug my dad. I want to go shopping. I want him to buy me toys. I want to go out. When I went Saudi Arabia, I was looking for my dad. I feel upset to see that my dad can cannot pick me up after school like others. I want, I want to meet Barack Obama and ask him to release my dad because I feel sorry for him.